bandag na naman ako. So, yun, guys. Ano? Kahit parang marapit sa day mo. Dapat daw, guys, may tawag ako sa inyo. Eh, di mga kagilagid. Hi, mga kagilagid. Gusto na lang kayo dyan. So, yun nga. The title of our vlog today would be What is Passive Income? So, mamaya, liligo lang ako. I'll transition to bagong ligo in 1, 2, 3... Tada! Parang walang pinagpago, di ba? So, yun na nga. We will talk about passive income. So, bakit siya passive income? Meron kasi tayong tinatawag na active income, which is yung earned income or recurring income, like salary. So, when we say passive, hindi ito yung pag nag-score ka sa survey, 8 yung binigay sa'yo. Hindi yun, ha? Iba yun. So, when we say passive, in dictionary meaning, It's lacking in energy or will or allowing other people to be in control. Pero, kung hanapan natin siya ng Tagalog word, naghanap nga ako sa Google tapos, ito ang sabi, kumukob, ano po ba yun? Pasibo, tapos tinig, baling tiyak. So, wala lang di ko naintindihan. But, in business terms, passive means having an income with no effort at all or sometimes with only little effort to grow income. So, in passive income, meron tayong two factors. And first, yun yung a lot of money. And second, a lot of time. So, sabi nila, hindi naman lahat merong maraming pera, merong maraming oras. So, kung marami kang pera, madali lang makabili ka ng ng mga real estate or may enjoy mo lang yung na incur mo sa rental rental income. Sa kabilang banda, kung marami ka namang oras, it's like investing. Meaning to say, it will reap the benefits of automatic income in a later time. Passive income is like exiting from a proverbial rat race. Ano ba yung sinasabi natin rat race? Ito yung, when we say rat race, ito yung endless, selfless, defeating, and pointless pursuit. Lalim, di ba? So, kung tatagalugin natin, from the word itself, rat race. Kasi di ba yung daga, or yung rat, bago siya makakuha ng cheese or ng keso, marami pa siyang susuungin ng mga sulok-sulok para lang makuha yung cheese. Marami pa siyang pagdadaaran ng mga kanimperot kineso. So, yun. It's like exiting from proverbial rat race. So, yun na nga. <laughs> Parang may hirap siyang itindihin. Pero, today, we will discuss five ways to earn passive income. Last night kasi, I just come across to this specific article na very, very interesting for me. So, I want it to share to you guys. So, disclaimer po, I'm not a professor, I'm not an expert or anything. I am only a BSBA financial management student. Pero, hindi pa po ako nakagraduate kasi dahil nag-work ako. So, kulang po po ako ng isa kasi. So, number one is writing an e-book. Yes, you heard it right. For those who have the capability to write, you can use it as a passive income. Sorry, I'm not very familiar sa Wattpad. Iba kasi yung e-book file na ginagamit kayo. Yung one reader, if you know that. So, we are, they have this so-called KDP or Kindle Direct Publishing where you can, they have a guide and step-by-step na kung paano may pababdish yung book mo, tapos meron din silang site doon na matatrack mo yung sales. And ang kagandahan doon, 70% of the revenue will be all yours. So, number two, launch an automated webinar. So, from the word itself, what I understand is 
pinag-combine na website and seminar. Pero sabi ni Google, seminar in the web. <laughs> yung best example dito is nakikita natin yung sa Facebook newsfeed natin. As you notice, marami nag-offer nung so-called Forex free training. It's a trading thing, yung Forex. So, pag nag-scroll ka sa newsfeed, marami na nag-offer ng training sa Forex. And what they usually do is send you a link via messenger or via gmail na pag kinik may link na yun, mararoute ka sa isang video training. So, meron silang in-offer na free trainings, but at the end of the video, meron kang kailangan salihan na premium upgrade na you still need to pay for it. Number three, do affiliate marketing. Oh, kung papahingan din natin, para ang lalim din niya. Pero basically, these are the websites that tackle different topics that most people are looking for. Meron tayong, um, ang mga examples na pwede dito is yung Nerd Wallet. We may not be familiar from it, pero it's one of the best examples according to Google. Nerd Wallet shows you or helps you it helps you pick the best credit card, loan, and income. Meron din tayong dating advice. So, from the word itself, it's a website that helps. They help you improve their dating skills. And tinuturo din nila kung ano pa yung mga ibang site na pwede mong puntahan na related din sa dating app. And we all know marami yan sa Facebook. But, di po ako nagagano na. Third example natin is website setup. So, if, if it's your first time creating a website, they teach you the step-by-step -step and how to create a website. So, marami pang example kung titignan natin sa Google. By the way, guys, yung ilalagay ko sa link yung website na pinaguhaan ko ng lahat ng information na to. Kasi, di, ko po, di po siya galing sa akin. Pinasa ko lang din po siya sa website. Marami pang example ng affiliate marketing. Habang nagbabasa nga ako, naalim na ako kasi iba't ibang topics and they're really very interesting. So, paano sila kumikita dito? There are some sites na if you sign up for them, it will cost you $65 or more. It varies depending on the content of product or the services that you offer. Number four, build an information product funnel. So, what is product funnel? Which funnel is being compared to a website? Website particular in a product or any services offered. So, what's the difference between website and a funnel? Best example ng funnel is yung click funnels. Nandun din siya guys din sa website. May kita niyo dun. Naka-hyperlink din yung click funnel if you wanna know more about it. So sabi nila, website looks beautiful and a lot of stops on it. Stops as in S-T-U-F-F-S. Stops. A lot, there's a lot of options but you have no control. It's like a wall. Sabi nga nila, it's just like a digital resume. It holds your information on display for some people. All sort of fun things, words, and links as well. Sometimes you, they ask you to go to a specific link, but technically, you're got you're getting nowhere. So it's like. So sabi din nila, it's like going to a local supermarket. Na you have so many distractions everywhere but still when you go outside you only have bread and milk funnel on the other hand is a very simple of organizing a talk there's a little more action taking place it's like guiding people on experience it's the best for consumers really looking for your stuff and willing to pay for it so, rather than leaving me guessing on what's the best fit for me, I easily get 
what is the specific product or service offered. Kasi ang kagandahan nito, it speeds up for the business, for the client, and for the consumers itself. So, bakit ba siya tinawag na funnel? Funnel, like yung embudo, if you know what I'm saying. So, whenever we pour substances to it, filter down niya yung mga liquid or any substance into one finite destination. So, parang sa sales, maraming visitors yung mag-check ng funnel mo, pero hindi lahat mag -re emerge sa other end. So, meaning, Hindi lahat magsa-sign up in the end, hindi lahat bibili or i-accept yung offer or services na, I mean, hindi lahat mag ng product in the end. So, number five, ay, ten pa rin. Number five, blogging. So, guys, dun sa article na nilagay ko sa link, number one talaga siya. Pero dahil very interesting siya sa akin, dahil nagulat din ako na kasama yung blogging dun. Gawa ko siya pang -hulay. So, why blogging is a part of earning in a passive income? It actually depends on how many people will watch. Meaning, say, kung gaano karaming views yung makukuha mo or gaano kadaming subscribers yung makukuha mo. Sabi nila, if you do it continuously daw, pwede kang maka-earn ng 6 digits or 7 digits per year or more. So, kailangan yung content mo laging interesting at saka tinatarget niya yung maaring teens or mga old days or mga maliliit na bata. You should have different topics para maraming mag-subscribe o maraming tumangkilik dun sa mismong channel mo. So, you have to put contents that will really entice the viewers. At first, nakaka-demotivate talaga siya kasi hindi naman lahat mag-like, mag-share, or mag-subscribe dun sa channel mo. Lalo na if you're only starting. Sabi nga ni Nuna Crystal, if you know Crystal Fulcar, nung, una, nung sa umpisa daw, ginagawa niya lang parang journal yung channel niya. Like, nilalagay niya dun yung mga travel niya not knowing na nag-grow up na yung channel and marami na yung nag-subscribe. So, yun, uh, just just be positive and continue giving inspiration to other people. So, that's the key. Be positive but don't get positive. So, yun guys, nakailang palakbak na ba tayo? <laughs> so, that's the end of my video. Sana may natutunan kayo sa video na to. If you want me to discuss Another topic, just comment below or you can personally message me. Wow! <laughs> Ayan guys, sana may natutunan kayo and don't forget to subscribe my channel. You can also like and share. So, see you in the next video. Bye!